wa veru ngethe, familia uh, yake yote na adothe ya muranga na adwa dagoriti na arata a family ya mweshimu wa veru ngethe gaine mwega na hede sio the mweshimu wa rice ya kwanza nigetaka nilete rabirabi zangu kwa familia ya kaka yangu mweshimu wa KJ kwa kuachwa na mzee na tutaendelea kuwaobea Mungu aendelee kuwapea nguvu na especially to give you the peace that surpasses all human understanding lakini mweshimu wa rais wakati wengine wamekuwa akiogea hapo mbele i want to reinforce what mweshimu wa nyoto amesema kwa sababu nimeona ni vizuri hata ukiwa na marafiki ukuwe na marafiki kama ya mzee wetu mheshimiwa wa Weru Ngethe kwa sababu the kind of articulation we got from the friends of Muse and especially the mom who was a teacher and the other gentleman amepea eh, eh, rais wetu kitabu ya maneno ya masomo ona kahoro kohoro ni alirie ona koda na alia githungu alirie gikuyu kihana githungu so nimeona ni vizuri sana unakuwa na marafiki kama hao kwa sababu wanalainisha maneno vizuri kabisa na mheshimiwa rais wakati tumekuwa tume, tumekaa hapa unajua KJ ni rafiki yangu na tuko na chama ya UDA na sisi ni Hasela Nation sisi ni Mahasela na mheshimiwa rais unakubuka Hasela tumedefine kwa kitabu yetu ile inaogoza Hasela Nation na katika hiyo tulikuwa tumepea KJ exemption kidogo hata kama yeye ni mtoto ya MP tukasema haidhuru akue hasra <laughs> lakini sasa nashagaa vile tutafanya mheshimiwa rais kwa hii kamati ya chini tumeangalia hiyo maneno na sasa tumeleta kwa patrida atatue hiyo maneno kwa sababu KJ is not just a son of an MP pale nataka utafsiri vizuri mheshimiwa patrida wetu ni kama a son of a presidential candidate kama bado ni hasela <laughs> tutagojea tuta uongozi wako mheshimiwa rais lakini kama ni mimi naulizwa bado upe KJ hiyo baja kuwe hasela kwa sababu ni rafiki yangu ni muobsavu akibehave kama zio rafiki yangu vizuri yeye yeah, akue dynasty Mheshimiwa KJ unajua wakati tumekuwa tumekaa hapa Bishop Karanu akauliza maneno wewe uko na watoto gapi wewe uko na watoto gapi Mheshimiwa Rais mimi ni mtu wa kuogea ukweli kwa sababu saa ingine ndio maana hata tuko very tight na wewe Sasa ni vizuri hata Bishop aliuliza mimi kama dede nyoro kwa sababu watu wanajua mimi ni mtu ya kuogea ukweli na mimi ni mtu mzuri. Sasa nilikuwa nashagaa hiyo swali. Tukeuliza mheshimiwa Nyoto ama tuulize mheshimiwa Kemani Shongoa. Sijui kama ungepeana ansa gani mheshimiwa Kemani Shongoa. Lakini hiyo tutaendelea kuogea kwa sababu Bishop ameulizwa swali mzuri. Nikimalizia. Mheshimiwa Rais tumeona ile kazi unafanya kwa maneno ya kulainisha uongozi and fighting corruption is not a matter of lip service mheshimiwa rais you are no longer being judged by what you say in regards to corruption you are being judged by the breadth and depth of the action that you are already taking you are not talking mheshimiwa rais you are acting and mheshimiwa rais even in the economic sense of it corruption distorts economic incentives by channeling resources not in the most optimal areas when for example a person engages in corruption na unaiba pesa a bio saa zingine that is the profit of, of a taiwan bank which is employing many kenyans 